Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, has long intrigued astronomers. This diminutive red dwarf, identified in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also encompasses Alpha Centauri, A and B. Despite its proximity approximately 4.24 light-years away, it remains undetectable to the unaided eye due to its relatively low luminosity. Nonetheless, Proxima Centauri holds significant scientific interest, particularly as the host star of Proxima b, an exoplanet situated within the star's habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and have much longer lifespans than stars like our Sun. Their low brightness makes them challenging to observe, but it also means their habitable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, this translates to an orbital distance of just 0.05 astronomical units, a mere fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This close proximity exposes Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including frequent solar, flares, and high levels of radiation, creating an environment starkly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a monumental achievement in exoplanet research. Using the radial velocity method, astronomers detected subtle wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These wobbles allowed scientists to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the existence of Proxima b, marking a breakthrough in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have provided valuable insights into Proxima b, they come with significant limitations. Atmospheric distortion and light interference hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of the information we have, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital characteristics, relies on indirect measurements. To uncover deeper truths about Proxima b's environment and its potential for life, more advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are indispensable. Proxima Centauri's role as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems cannot be overstated. As the closest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life. Proxima b, in particular, represents a tantalizing possibility, a rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to harbor water and, perhaps, even life. However, the challenges posed by its harsh environment make it a complex puzzle for scientists. To solve, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is not just another tool in the arsenal of astronomy, it is a revolution. Designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST was envisioned to address the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided invaluable insights into the cosmos, including the age of the universe and the discovery of thousands of galaxies, its capabilities are constrained by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, by contrast, is built to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust and uncover phenomena invisible to Hubble. One of the key design features of JWST is its primary mirror, which spans a staggering 6.5 meters in diameter, more than double the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect far more light, making it capable of observing extremely faint and distant objects. Coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity, the mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments that work together to create a highly sensitive observational platform. Another groundbreaking innovation is JWST's five-layer sun shield, which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of about minus 233 degrees C. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Each layer of the sunshield is made of a specialized material called captain, coated with aluminum to reflect sunlight. 
Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position approximately 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. From L2, the telescope can study everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets, like Proxima b. Its focus on infrared light is particularly significant, as it allows astronomers to study phenomena that are redshifted, objects whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. WST's capabilities extend far beyond mere observation. It is designed to answer some of the most profound questions in science, including the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that might support life on other planets. With its state-of-the-art instruments, including the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSPEC, JWST is not just a telescope, it is a time machine, a laboratory, and a beacon of human ingenuity. Proxima B has captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential second Earth. Situated within the habitable zone of its star, the planet has the right conditions to potentially support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima b is likely a rocky planet, similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from a perfect twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked meaning one side of the planet is in perpetual daylight, while the other is in eternal darkness. This creates a distinctive environment with drastic temperature differences between the two hemispheres. The boundary where day transitions to night, referred to as the terminator line, may provide a narrow twilight zone with temperate conditions, potentially suitable for sustaining life. The extreme environment of Proxima b presents substantial challenges. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf notorious for its intense solar outbursts. These flares emit bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet, radiation which could gradually strip away the planet's atmosphere, exposing its surface to the harsh elements of space. If Proxima b has managed to retain an atmosphere, it would likely require a powerful magnetic field to shield it from this radiation. Without such protection, the planet's surface would likely be inhospitable to known forms of life. Despite these formidable obstacles, researchers remain hopeful about the possibility of life on Proxima b. Its placement within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water might exist, either on its surface or in underground reservoirs. Life could adapt to the planet's harsh conditions in ways comparable to extremophiles on Earth. Organisms that thrive in extreme environments, such as deep sea vents or highly radioactive zones, these life forms could evolve resistance to radiation, reside beneath the surface, or utilize unique biochemical processes to survive. The exploration for life on Proxima b is more than a scientific undertaking. It is a profound quest to answer one of humanity's oldest and most fundamental questions. Are we alone in the cosmos? Proxima b represents a tantalizing possibility, a terrestrial, Earth-like planet that could potentially offer the right conditions for life. As technology progresses, so does our capability to investigate this mysterious world and reveal its secrets. Although Proxima b shows promise, its environment is deeply shaped by the character of its parent star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is smaller, cooler, and emits much less light. Because of this, its habitable zone lies much closer to the star, placing Proxima b just 0.05 astronomical units away, roughly 20 times nearer than Earth is to the sun. This close orbit presents a unique array of complications for Proxima b and any hypothetical life it might support. 
One critical issue is Proxima Centauri's. Erratic stellar activity, especially its powerful and frequent solar flares. These sudden energy surges release significant amounts of X-rays and ultraviolet light, considerably more than stars like our Sun. For Proxima b, this translates into continuous bombardment by high-energy particles that could erode its atmosphere unless protected by a strong magnetic field, similar to Earth's. Even if some portion of its atmosphere survives, the star's radiation still poses substantial risks to life. High levels of UV light can break down complex molecules, hindering the formation of the organic compounds essential for life as we know it. On Earth, some organisms, such as Deinococcus radiodurans, have developed the ability to repair radiation-induced DNA damage. This suggests that if life exists on Proxima b, it might have evolved extraordinary resilience or entirely new biological systems. Interestingly, the planet's tidally locked state might offer a degree of protection. While one hemisphere constantly faces the star's intense radiation, the dark side could act as a sanctuary. Subsurface environments or deep caves might shield life forms from radiation, providing a stable habitat. Additionally, if Proxima b contains underground oceans, they might harbor life in a more temperate, radiation-free setting, much like ecosystems found near hydrothermal vents on Earth. Despite the dangers, scientists believe that Proxima b's extreme environment provides a rare opportunity to examine life's adaptability. By studying how organisms could survive or even flourish under such conditions, researchers can broaden the criteria for habitability across the universe. Proxima b is more than a candidate for extraterrestrial life. It is a natural testbed for understanding the limits of biological endurance. Its closeness to Earth and location in the habitable zone make it a prime subject for further investigation. With next-generation telescopes and instruments, scientists will continue observing Proxima b in the hope of uncovering signs of life. As our understanding of Proxima b and its potential to support life deepens, so too does the advancement of technologies that allow us to explore it. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and other sophisticated devices are set to play a pivotal role in this continuing endeavor. Through its focus on infrared light, JWST can capture intricate details of Proxima b's atmosphere and surface conditions. These observations could determine whether the planet possesses an atmosphere capable of sustaining life or if Proxima Centauri's aggressive stellar activity has left it barren. The study of Proxima b's atmosphere is especially important. A dense atmosphere might serve as a protective shield, deflecting harmful radiation and helping to stabilize the planet's climate. JWST may detect crucial gases, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, or methane, potential indicators of biological processes akin to those found on Earth. A significant challenge, however, lies in differentiating signs of life from geological phenomena. While the presence of certain gases may hint at biological activity, natural processes like volcanic eruptions or chemical interactions could also produce similar markers. Beyond JWST, future missions like the Large Ultraviolet Ch Optical Infrared Surveyor, Louvoir, and the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HABEX, could further our exploration of Proxima b. These projects aim to directly image planets around nearby. Stars, especially those within habitable zones, and may eventually enable us to observe Proxima b's surface or even its weather patterns. Another promising approach is the identification of biosignatures, chemical clues that suggest life. Though detecting such signs remains a long-term goal, confirming microbial life on Proxima b would revolutionize our understanding of biology and the universe. The hunt for biosignatures via atmospheric analysis or surface spectroscopy is now a cornerstone of next-generation space missions. By examining unusual gas ratios or the planet's reflectance spectrum, Astronomers might one day determine whether Proxima b or any other world hosts life. The search for extraterrestrial life on Proxima b is not limited to telescopes alone. 
As technological capabilities grow, new and imaginative methods for exploring distant planets are emerging. Ideas such as sending space probes to nearby star systems have been proposed, though such missions are not yet feasible. Given its relative closeness, Proxima b is a prime candidate for humanity's first interstellar voyage, potentially utilizing light sails or ion propulsion to reach the planet within a human lifetime. While these missions are still many years, or even centuries away, they embody the long-term vision of human exploration beyond our solar system. In the shorter term, other innovative avenues are being explored. Radio telescopes, for instance, may one day detect signals from advanced civilizations residing on Proxima b. This aligns with efforts like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, which aims to find intelligent life in our galaxy. Though the odds of success are slim, the dream of encountering intelligent life remains a powerful motivation in our quest to understand the universe. Meanwhile, Earth's study of Proxima b increasingly depends on cutting-edge observational techniques and the expanding use of artificial intelligence, AI. AI can process the enormous volumes of data collected by telescopes, spotting patterns and potential life signs faster and more accurately than human researchers alone. This fusion of human creativity and machine intelligence could greatly accelerate discoveries and deepen our knowledge of alien worlds like Proxima b. Ultimately, Proxima b might hold the key to answering one of humanity's greatest questions. Are we alone in the universe?